Now we head to Brazil, where major violence was reported in a jailbreak. Nine inmates were killed and 14 were injured in a prison riot near the capital of Brasilia. One of the victims was decapitated. 106 prisoners escaped. Many of them are still on the run. The head of Brazil's prison guard union complained that only five guards were assigned to watch more than 900 prisoners. Brazil's prisons experienced an endemic violence and suffer severe overcrowding. Bianca Zanini, our foreign affairs correspondent, still with us in the studio. You're also a Brazilian, and while in Brazil, this is a story you covered many times, the overcrowding and, and the violence within the Brazilian prisons. This is surely not the first time we've seen such a thing. It's surely not the first time, and it's unlikely to be the last time. Brazil has one of the largest prison populations in the world, and there are regular riots, regular uprisings partially because the prisons are notoriously overcrowded. Sometimes the prisoners have to take turns to be able to sleep or even sit in their cells. So some people, some of the prisoners have to stand up so that others can sit. So you're basically sleep being taken completely. the right to sit down. Well, it's not just that. It's also a question of hygiene. It's a question of access to food. It's complete chaos and complete they, the government has let that go that is there's they have very very few rights apart from that they are also the majority of them part of gang there are gang members that uh, are at war both inside the prison and outside the prison walls like there are major drug gangs all over brazil that control the routes and control slums and even parts of cities now the leaders of these gangs they have access to mobile phones, to drugs, and sometimes even to weapons, even while they're on the inside of the prison. I've reported, as you mentioned, uh, from prisons before, and I interviewed uh, a drug lord who controls three favelas, three slums, right around Rio de Janeiro. He was in prison for um, uh, almost 17 years, and he said the same way that he controlled everything outside, he controlled it from the inside. He just confirmed what we hear again and again, that the men in charge outside are the men in charge inside as well. And this sort of mirrors the society from outside. Apart from this fact, there, there's also the question of resources, which you mentioned, that there's not enough money, there's not enough public attention. People really don't care. These are drug uh, gangs members, so people don't care too much about them or their rights. So basically what you're saying is in an, inside the prison or outside, as far as they're concerned, it's the same thing. They run, they, run the, they run the show even when they're inside the jail. Absolutely. And there are even stories of some prisoners feeling safer on the inside than they are on the outside because of rivalries that happen inside the prison. Once they go out, there is not even uh, the protection of their prison gangs.